What's going on? Mike here with another video and obviously I have survived the coronavirus. Uh, me and the family had it a few weeks ago and it was fairly anticlimactic. So honestly not even worth talking about. But what is worth talking about is I've gotten a lot of requests to do a follow-up video on the M1 MacBook Air. So let's get into it. All right, so this is not meant to be a full review. I've already done that. I will post uh, a link to that video and another video that I've done on this in the end screen card. So if you've not watched my review, you want to skip to that, just skip to the end, watch that, and come back to this video. But I've gotten quite a few requests to say, hey, how's this thing holding up? So um, it's been over three months. I mean, I've had this thing since launch, so it's, I've had it for quite a while now. And I got to say, it's held up uh, brilliantly. I mean, I've got three major complaints that I'm going to cover in this video. Um, but overall, I got to say the user experience, uh, the build quality, I mean, the battery life has been phenomenal. And like I've mentioned, just like other reviewers, the M1 chip is definitely worth the hype. The only time I've seen this thing kind of stutter or bog down at all has been when I've been editing multiple streams of 4K video at the same time using Final Cut Pro and then sometimes it will stutter or have to wait a second to kind of render that video out. But overall, the performance has been extremely good with my favorite thing being, again, the battery life. I mean, you can easily get uh, 10 hours of battery life with this thing, obviously depending on what you're doing. If you're doing hardcore video editing, or gaming, then obviously it's not going to last that long. But if you're just doing your normal everyday tasks, Microsoft Office, whatever, surfing the web, watching Netflix, YouTube, you'll get 10 hours out of this thing easily. Now, as you can see, over three months physically, this thing has held up just fine. I've had a skin on this thing since day one, and this is a D-brand skin. Um, really, I didn't get this to protect it. I just got it for aesthetics because it also matches my skin on my Surface Go 2. But um, overall, everything else, the keyboard, the trackpad has been absolutely um, excellent on this thing. Like I said, it is kind of a tired design now. I wish Apple would, in fact, refresh it, maybe give you some other color options and things like that. But the keyboard on this thing has been great. The big trackpad has been awesome. So no complaints with it whatsoever in that regard. But... The main thing I kind of wanted to address, and the complaints I have with this, um, are kind of minor, but again, at this point, this device is so good, I'm really just nitpicking. So the first thing that kind of annoys me about this is the ports. I mean, I'm okay with having just USB Type-C, um, I'm okay with just having two, but it would be nice if they put one on the left side and one on the right side, because it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, from a cable management perspective and maybe, you know, depending on where your wall outlet is and all that, it would just be more convenient to have one of these on either side. But again, like I said, this is kind of nitpicking at this point. The other issue or complaint I have about this device is the webcam. Now, granted, I honestly don't do that much with the webcam on here. If I'm going to do any kind of video, it's usually done on a tablet or a phone, but the webcam on here is atrocious. Now, Apple tried to church it up a little bit saying, oh, with the software improvements, we're able to make this thing better, but it still sucks. It's still potato cam. And if you do a lot of video conferencing and you want to use your Mac, you may want to consider just using your phone, tablet, or getting an external camera because, again, the webcam on this thing is atrocious, which just kind of blows my mind because this is my Surface Go 2. Um, and this has got a 1080p webcam that looks actually pretty fantastic. So whenever I do uh, YouTube live, I usually use this as the camera. But um, this thing coming out at the mid to end of 2020 has just a crap camera. I don't understand why Apple refuses to upgrade the webcams in their computers. Uh, they did upgrade the microphone, so they pretty yeah. So they have actually really good microphones. Uh, this one included. It's just the cameras suck. I don't know why. Right, so now coming to my final 
complaint I have about this. And in my case, this is really my biggest complaint. And it has nothing to do with Apple or the computer itself. And I'm probably going to get some hate in the comments for this. But the biggest complaint that I have with this is that it's Mac OS. Now, granted, um, there's nothing wrong with Mac OS per se. Um, I just happen to prefer Windows. And in this case, this is a personal preference. Um, for me, you know, it's whether you like chocolate or vanilla or whatever. Um, they're both great OSs at this point. It's just I prefer Windows. And it just, to me, always seemed more intuitive. There's just some nuances on this that I just, I'm not used to and I just, I don't like. So <laughs> the entire time that I've owned this, I've used uh, Microsoft Edge. So I haven't used Safari once on this thing. Um, I do use the native calendar and mail application, but when it comes to actually using an internet browser, I just use Microsoft Edge on this and it works great. And it's actually running through Rosetta because there's no, uh, I guess, ARM optimized or ARM enabled uh, Microsoft Edge for this yet that I know of. But again, been running it using Rosetta and it's worked just fine. So that again is my major complaint. And again, nothing on the computer itself, nothing against Apple. It's just my personal preference. So you may think otherwise, that's fine. But me, I still miss Windows, still prefer Windows. So that's why I've held on to this guy here as well. But with that, if you have any additional questions or something else specific you want to know about the M1 MacBook Air or want to test, just shoot it in the comments below. But again, I can still definitely recommend this, especially even in 2021. It's a great computer, great battery life. The performance that you get with such a long battery life and the price of this, to me, you're all a win. So it is definitely a great device. I wish Windows would get their crap together and make a ARM chip that doesn't suck. I mean, I had the um, Surface Pro X, good device, but nowhere near as good as this guy when it comes to battery life and performance. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick one, quick update. Um, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you do so. Thanks.